y'all. Welcome back to Kristen Life Acres. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make homemade French bread the easy way. I will leave the full recipe in the description box below. So let's just go ahead and get started. You're going to add warm water, hot to the touch, but not hot enough to kill your yeast. So it's about two and three quarters that I have here. I'm just going to put that in my mixing bowl. And then you want to add your sugar. So I've got uh, about four teaspoons of sugar. And let me grab something to stir that with because you want your sugar to evaporate a little bit into your water. And then you're going to add your yeast. You want to add between two and a half teaspoons to three. If your packet only has two and a half, they all come in different sizes depending on the brand. So you just kind of, I'll show you how you know if it's good to go. But it's active dry yeast. smell it. It's definitely active. Alright, I'm going to let that sit for, I don't know, 20-30 seconds and it should start to foam. If it starts to foam, then you'll know it's good and active. If it doesn't foam, then it's expired and it's no longer good. So it's starting to bubble and foam a little bit. I'm going to just give it a few more minutes. Uh, and then after that, we're going to add about three quarters of the total amount of flour. So if you're starting with six cups, then I would probably add maybe like four and a half-ish. Um, but let's go ahead and check this and make sure that our yeast is good and yeah, active and ready to go. All right, so it's bubbling a little bit, but it's not foaming quite as much as I think it needs to. So I'm going to grab another packet and just add a tiny bit more. Because this is really important. If you don't get this step right, you might as well just stop there and not waste any more ingredients. Because the sugar and the warm water help activate the yeast. If your yeast is no good and it's not foaming and bubbling like it should, then it, it, the rest of the recipe is not going to work. So you really want to make sure you start appropriately. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see this, but now we're getting some bubbling and some foaming, which is exactly what we're looking for. And this point we're going to add the flour. When I say adding three quarters of the total flour, add it slowly and stir. So I've got some flour here that is prepackaged for my long-term food storage. And um, it was actually packaged about nine months ago. And I always try to go from my oldest food, which it's not old, but oldest to newest so that I'm constantly rotating my food storage. So out of those two cups, I'm going to do about half of this and stir it in. Continue to add our flour. 
So this that was a two cup long term food storage. This is four. So we're gonna open this one up and add maybe about half. That makes it about four. Just you know, I'm eyeballing it, so it doesn't need to be exact. You just want to make sure that it doesn't get too dry because it's much easier to add more. You can't take it away. You always want to make sure that you add um, your salt last, which is what I have right here, four teaspoons of the kosher sea salt, because yeast and salt aren't, they're not best friends. They're, they're not, uh, they don't like each other. So you want to get this good mix before you add the salt so you don't deactivate your yeast. So this is getting to a pretty good consistency, but it's definitely still doughy, so I need to add more flour. Like I said, this is about six cups. You always want to have a little more on hand, just in case it's too doughy. Otherwise, you're going to get kind of soppy bread, and nobody wants that. I may do a little um, cut woo, in the video so I don't bore y'all with my stirring and mixing. It's very important though to get all these ingredients incorporated together because after we add the salt, the next step will be to let it rise and rest. And it won't do it properly if you don't have everything mixed together properly. All right, so I'm gonna get a little more flour in there and then I'm gonna knead it with my hands. Well, it's probably good. And then you also want a little extra flour to be able to put down in your counter or on parchment paper and for your rolling pin in a later step. So, and you know, flour is not expensive, even these days with the way the world's going, it's pretty reasonable. So it's always better to have a little extra than not enough. All right. So now I'm gonna add the salt. I have pulled the dough out of the bowl and I am going to flour my hands pretty heavily, which is why I wore a white shirt. I need to get myself an apron. But um, you want to just knead this together to make sure all the ingredients are well distributed. do this till it's sponge-like, like your kitchen sponge. You can kind of push on it and it re-expands like it's doing here. So that's about a good spot. So we're going to go ahead and take it. <laughs> Maybe I can get this off of here and put it back in the bowl with a little bit of flour on the bottom so it doesn't completely stick. And then cover it and give it about 20, 30 minutes or so to finish rising and we'll go from there. So my dough has risen and I have covered my hands in flour. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this on a floured surface. You can put it directly on your counter with flour, but my counter, it's another whole story. It's a whole other video. It's a hot mess right now, so we're not going to do that. But we're just going to roll this, continually adding some flour either right to the dough or to your rolling pin. Doesn't matter either way. Ouch, 
my bread knife is in the dishwasher, so I'm just using a regular knife. Oh, oh it's like perfectly done. Okay, I'm just going to put a little sliver of butter because I love butter on my hot bread. Butter and bacon makes everything better. Oh, it's hot. Here we go. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to eat some bread now. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.